Now to a continuing coverage of a story you'll see on just one station tonight. Police chases that end in crashes, but officers don't stop to help out. This is really making a lot of people wondering what's going on. I'm Brian Duffy. 19 Investigates uncovered exclusive video of two incidents now, including one under criminal investigation. All new at 6, we also found some troubling connections between these crashes. Some of East Cleveland's finest now finding themselves on the other side of the law. Over the last year, 18 officers, including the city's last police chief, have been criminally charged for their alleged actions while on duty. 19 Investigates has learned one of those officers just indicted this week is now off the job. Records show Sergeant Anthony Holmes was placed on unpaid leave Wednesday, a day after he was charged with trying to cover up a pursuit that ended in a crash. You wasn't behind no car on our way. Yeah, why, what happened? Uh, they crashed at St. Clair. No, I wasn't behind, I turned around. Uh, okay, so the passerby said that the car almost ran them off the road, watched them crash and turned around. Please was called over here. No, I wouldn't in pursuit that car. That's Holmes on the phone talking to now former East Cleveland Police Commander Larry McDonald, who was also indicted this week and then resigned. Back in March, McDonald pursued an SUV into Cleveland. After a short chase, the driver crashed at East 152nd in St. Clair. McDonald's body camera caught what he did instead of stopping to help. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. He laughs, then leaves, cranks up his music, and heads to a nearby bar. While there, he talks to Holmes on the phone and denies ever pursuing the car or seeing the crash. 19 Investigates also came across Sergeant Holmes' name on a report from a similar incident that happened last October. Looking down the street, I can see some lights flashing. I believe that vehicle may have crashed. I'm going to go check. That voice on the police radio is Officer Rayvon Wiggins. He also chased a car into Cleveland. But when it crashed, leaving three people inside severely injured, surveillance footage shows the officer turned off his emergency lights and then made a U-turn and left. In the report, Wiggins typed up after the chase. He said before making the U-turn, he believed the vehicle may have crashed and caused injuries. But records show an East Cleveland dispatcher didn't note anything about a possible crash or injuries on their log during the pursuit. The only mention made nearly 15 minutes later after Cleveland police called them about it. According to records, that same dispatcher would also tell Cleveland police no East Cleveland officers were involved in the March 12th pursuit that ended in a crash. The same chase McDonald is now facing felony charges for. McDonald and Holmes will be arraigned in June. Wiggins did not face any discipline for leaving the crash scene back in October, and he has not been criminally charged.